All right, guys, welcome to Happy Place Aquatics. So look at these guys. We've got Ick. I'm not happy about it. I don't like it. But I'm going to treat it. Right now, I have Ick X in here. I tend usually do it with salt, but I want to try Ick X and see what happens. These guys are eating well, so eating is not a problem. Uh, I mean, these guys are in quarantine by themselves. They're in their permanent tank. So there's no other fish that they're going to contaminate with Ick. But, neither here nor there that they have Ick. So this is gonna be part one. I'm going to stitch this video and the results of the treatment of Ick in the next video. Guys, Ick is a common problem in the aquarium hobby. Um, the fish have weak immune system. It's, it happens. It can be treated, it can be resolved. Typically you can do it without losing fish, so. That is what we're going to do. So, with that in mind, stay tuned, and you'll see what happens. All right, guys, like I was saying about the uh, Hepacillus salt. Got it in here during the water change. And we're going to see what happens. Some people are going to tell me this is the wrong way to do it, and I'm doing what works for me. This also works for Hick. Uh, I don't know. I can get some criticism and some backlash from this, but this actually works. So, you can give me your opinions. I appreciate them. I also will take any constructive criticism, but I know what works. You know, when that doesn't work, you go and do what you know works. Which, I know that works. So, I didn't gravel back the tank. Um... Like I said, this tank isn't that old. I have established media from my goldfish pond. And I have another uh, sponge filter that's starting over there that has media growing on it. So we're not going for, you know, replacing everything on it, but we're gonna make it work. I know there's enough bacteria in that, and there was enough flow in that to where it's gonna work forever. Well, I'm gonna rephrase that, not work forever, but it's gonna give me the beneficial bacteria I need to kickstart the tank. We'll take that back a little bit. But this method has worked. Uh, my local fish store guy is actually the one who got me into that and told me what to do. So that's what I'm gonna do. These guys are all hiding. You can see they're all playing chicken. These are all of mine and a couple of the babies. These guys are all brother and sister. They all came from the same litter, or the same litter, the same batch. So, but they're hiding, they're scared. And I understand, it's something new. It really is. So that's what I do for Ick and Epicillus. So. And it is what it is. Everybody does things different. That's what's great about this hobby. That is actually what's fantastic about this hobby. So. But anyway, guys, I'm going to finish this. And see what happens. <laughs> 